Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here today with Harry's Hospitality Group and Chef David Banks featuring Harry's Savoy Grill. Chef, thanks for being here. Thanks so much for being here as well. We have a good time when we do these shows. Always have a great time. Well, what are we making today? We're gonna do a little bistro cooking. We've got a signature ribeye that we do here at the restaurant. Look We're gonna this. feature that. We're gonna do a take on risotto. Uh, which is not the rice version of risotto, but with cauliflower. Wow. We're gonna do some classic bistro and escargot. Make some compound butters, some bursi butter for the steak and a nice garlic butter for the escargot. We're gonna pan sear a duck breast, do a little cabernet reduction sauce, and all those will play in with the uh, with the cauliflower risotto. Wow, we have our work cut out for us. Let's so, get started. This is, a, this is a beautiful piece of choice ribeye. You can say that again. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this down. We're going to make one beautiful steak. Wow. And 18 ounces is our is our game. You do and all of your butchering in house here? We do. It's a big steak, especially for a boneless steak. It it is, and that's the uh, that's the the wow factor we wanted to do. We season that up. I'm going to take this right off set here. Okay. And what do you have in this pan? Just a little bit I'm of oil? A little bit of oil okay. and some salt and pepper we're going to put in that pan. Just that simple. So we, a little fresh ground black pepper. We actually grind it in a, in a grinder. And uh, that, fresh, you know, almost every day. Sometimes we stretch an, an extra day out of it. But it's always usually really nice and fresh. Yeah. And the, uh, so this, what we're going to do, we're not going to cook this right away. We're going to bounce and do a couple other things. Okay, we're going to take, take an opportunity here to start this uh, cauliflower risotto. Now this is a method of risotto that's kind of contemporary, but this particular risotto is cauliflower. And I use a nice rainbow cauliflower, a little bit of shallots. So we're not actually using any rice at all? No rice this. at all. So really it's just a play on the word risotto. Okay. I love the we'll, different we'll colors. We'll cream it a little bit. So yeah, okay. these, are the, these are the pieces. And just to show what I did, it's not a real mystery, but we just <laughs> kind of break it down a little bit like that. And so then... Just uh, shave them into little bits. Shave them into little bits. And you just do it by hand and, it's, and it works out pretty good. Um, so what we'll do there is we'll let this shallots and garlic aromatize. You don't have to, uh, you know, take a whole long time with it. Mm -hmm. And then we'll take our cauliflower, and that's good. You can see it working. Nice. Okay, and just, you don't want to brown it. Mm -hmm. And then you get your, try. I use a, it's, it, you can find it in the markets, and they call it uh, sure. sometimes carnival cauliflower. Yeah, yeah. We'll All put right. a little salt and pepper on just it. Just want to let it soften up. A little soften up, and then we're going to take just a little bit of white wine, and we're going to take some, uh, uh, some cream to it, some butter, awesome. any, any time with the butter. The butter's <laughs> nice. So the butter will help to uh, get it, you can hear it starting. I don't want it to color, so I'll get, okay. the, I'll get the wine and the cream into it before we color it. Great, and this is on your menu here? We do it here, but I'm presently doing this at, at Kids Chalene's. Excellent. With a salmon dish, and mm. they, they really like it. Once we get in control of it, a little bit of wine. Just a splash. And that's gonna, do its thing. That'll help keep it from browning a little bit too, yep. right? Yeah, and this, a little bit of heavy cream, mm. and then we'll just Very do that. Very nice. Stay tuned for more of The Chef's Kitchen. Let the nation's top chefs show you how to use gourmet ingredients, inspire you to try this season's freshest selections to make you a top chef in your own home. One of the butters here, we're gonna do a pretty heavy garlic mm. uh, butter for the snails. And so oh, I've got nice. a, we're going to get pretty heavy on this garlic butter. Really classic bistro dish, escargot. It, it, it is, and one of the, um, one of the things that uh, we do different with this is we just cook this little white wine, a little bit of garlic. Okay, we're cooking good. This is all, this is all happy. I'm going to touch just a little more cream because I, un I understand it. Sorry. That's okay. Bursi butter. Shallots? Shallots. Pretty good, pretty good amount of shallots. All right. White wine. And this, is this the same butter that's going to be with the garlic or this is this is, separate? This is, sep this okay. is for basically it's a shallot butter, shallot and lemon butter. And so you got a little white wine, some shallot, some lemon. 
And is this unsalted or salted butter that you started with? I use unsalted mm -hmm. butter almost always, because uh, then I add the salt. So then we get a little chopped parsley. Hopefully I can take this without dragging it on my set. You nailed it. Okay. There you go. All right. And, and then you just mix that up? And then you just mix it. You mix it up. I will. I'm tired of working. I would love to. <laughs> tired of doing You can all always the work put me here. to work. So that simple, the garlic, right? And we're going to taste that for lemon. I'm going to tell you that there's always needs more lemon. I like a lot it. of lemon in yeah, everything. Yeah, me too. And then this garlic butter. That's the wine and the garlic. Now this one mm, that smells so good. is heavy garlic and parsley. A little bit more cream to this Go risotto. For it. If you say it needs more cream, it and, needs more and cream. It, and it needs just a little more butter. I'm just going to whip my hand on your towel. I like it. Uh, <laughs> this one we do a little bit of salt. Okay. Any a pepper? Bit of pepper, yeah. Okay. A little bit of pepper. And we're going to taste Perfect. for the lemon in a minute. I like the parsley factor. That, that worked out good. And then this is the same thing. This is a heavy parsley garlic. We're going to put lemon in this. So these compound butters, you can make them ahead. Uh, you can keep them in the wow. in your refrigerator. You can freeze them. They're just good to have. You really and weren't kidding about the parsley. That's a lot of parsley. Yeah, we'll see if that's <laughs> if that's enough. But it, it wants to be real green. All right. If you want to preserve it, we'll take just a parchment a little, paper. A little bit of wax paper okay. or parchment paper, and. We'll take it and we'll fold it. We'll just push it with a flat surface like a plate. That's edge. a great trick. That's a little tip and technique there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that way, I always unfold it and then I roll it back and nice and gently. Perfect. And then you can just put it away in your freezer or your refrigerator. You would label it if you wanted to, mm -hmm. and then you'd have that. We'll return with more from the Chef's Kitchen. Watch the show The Chef's Watch. The Chef's Kitchen. Let the nation's top chefs show you how to use gourmet ingredients and share valuable trade secrets to make you a top chef in your own home. Watch The Chef's Kitchen daily to keep up with today's culinary trends and techniques. How long does a steak like this take to cook? Well, you know, if we're going medium rare, uh, around eight minutes. That's uh, it. But we have a we have a tool in the kitchen above our uh, broiler. It's called a plancha top. Nice. And that is a uh, pretty monster tool. So it does pretty quick in there. And that steak is firing. Nice and relaxed oh, yeah. on it. And let it cook. Beautiful duck breast. You've already scored the skin. I, I, I have. See. Uh, I have. I took. The duck like this, you mm -hmm. just cut the keel bone out, mm -hmm. and then it has this extra fat around here. Uh, so I trim from the bottom side. I we trim don't need the all that. fat. No, and it, and it it creates a nice um, top More edge uniform. like yeah. that, and then you score it. Any trick to scoring? Uh, Being able to cut but not all the uh, way through. Sharp, sharp knife and don't cut all the mm -hmm. way through and, and move. Move. Okay. So basically, as you can see, I'm just getting through the fat. Really quick Did, movements, I notice. Yeah, you can go slow. It doesn't. I don't think speed but has think anything to do with the it. The sharp knife is definitely key. Tips and technique: thin meat, uh, veals, and things like that. If you ever see the blood coming up through the meat, mm -hmm. not a good sign. Okay. You want to get it turned before you see blood coming up through the meat. What about a thick piece? Thick piece, like you, that. You, you know, you might not have uh, have that issue. It okay. Might not thin up, but this is scallopino veal. So we've got these, these snails, and again, we've cooked the snails. There's shallots, there's garlic, there's red wine, there's mm. chicken stock. I can smell everything you, you just named. A, you take a snail into the holes. And these are on your menu here? These are on the menu here. Okay, and they, uh, that's the boy grill. That's kind of, we like that, and they sell very well. And they are, ooh, this thing's looking good. Let me see. Wow, look at the sear nice on that. sear, wow. it's a good sear. We're gonna let it cook some more here, then we're gonna drop it in the oven since I'm not smoking out the set <laughs> too bad. Well, it's no surprise that you guys are known for your steaks here, and especially your, your prime rib. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about that. 
Our prime rib is, is aged. We purchase only from five specific uh, packing plants wow. in the Midwest. All Iowa beef, so mm -hmm. IBP, Iowa mm -hmm. beef packers. I only use Iowa beef, been buying it for 28 some odd years, only from specific packers in the Corn Belt. Wow. And uh, then we age it. And you age we, it here in-house? We age it in-house. Really? Dry and, aged? Uh, no, we wet age okay. it in, in the Cryvac bag. Mm -hmm. uh, but, the, uh, uh, but then we roast it real slow in a nice controlled oven and uh, escargot, garlic Beautiful. butter strong, goes right into the oven. How long does that take? That's really quick. It's about four or five minutes. Oh, okay, super quick. This, uh, this steak is doing its thing here. Oh, yes, it is. I'm going to go into the oven now with this. Okie doke. The escargot is cooking. You really just want to cook the escargot until it's uh, the butter's kind of melted and, and bubbly a little bit. About how hot is that oven? That's a 375 Okay, oven. so not crazy. Scored breast. Mm -hmm. No need to uh, oil this pan at totally all. This dry. duck fat does, does a good thing. Okay. So we're just going to season the duck. Salt, pepper, Great. fat side down. Hot pan. Hot pan, dry hot pan. Salt and pepper. We're going to taste it a little bit here. Make sure we've got salt and pepper. You oh, I get it. to do the honors? Sure. Because I'm going to cheese it up just a little bit. Mmm. A little Reggiano. Not a mm. lot. It's not, we're not trying to make it a cheesy dish. Salt and pepper good? It needs a little salt, but a little it's, salt. it's really okay. good. This cheese has a little salt. Yep. We will put a little salt, but recognize your, your nice Reggiano. And that has got a salt factor to it, but, mm -hmm. but I probably agree that you've got the salt. And then just a little touch. There you go. It's like Mardi Gras in there. It, it, and you know, it, hey, it does actually, <laughs> actually pretty funny. But that's a little French bistro stuff, a little parsley. You know, you could Fabulous. put a little more butter in it if you wanted. Absolutely. And, go and for the butter. And just smooth it down. So you've got a nice risotto right there. Excellent. This duck breast is doing, and you want to brown it good. Like that. Look at that. Okay, oh, so that's nice gorgeous. and brown. Look how much fat's rendered off, too. We're going to make use of that fat when we do the, uh, the Cabernet reduction sauce. Again, we're going to do a little red wine, a little, a little shallot. shallot. Okay. So and this is something that's on your menu here at Harry Savoy Grill as well? In a fashion. We have duck breast and in, in, in always have a different set. Uh, but this is one of the time, one of the ways that we have done Beautiful. it before. We'll be right back with more from the Chef's Kitchen. Watch the show the chefs watch. The Chef's Kitchen. Let the nation's top chefs show you how to use gourmet ingredients, inspire you to try this season's freshest selections, and share valuable trade secrets to make you a top chef in your own home. Well, we've done the steak, we've done the duck, and of course we have our escargot, but you do a lot of other seafood here. You've got amazing raw bar. We've got a great raw bar. We've got a great mm -hmm. uh, we've got lobster, a nice pan-seared lobster on the menu now. And a great lobster and roll, I have to good, add, one good, of my favorites. Good lobster roll. All that works out good. Let's mm -hmm. see what these. Uh, this is parsley. That's Why parsley. are you chopping it there instead of using the minced parsley? Because I want a little bit of a rough uh, parsley, like okay. a fresh rough parsley to finish this uh, Cabernet uh, reduction sauce. So a little with. more rustic. So a little more rustic on that, and you'll see uh, you'll see how that works out. Cool. So this duck is good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this duck, drop it in the oven. I'm going to take the escargot out. Excellent timing, I must say. We, we hope so, all right? <laughs> now, so that's the escargot, there you go. Look at that, This plate, wow. I open up the petals. That's beautiful. Right, and you can, you can open up the eight petals or you it's can like just- like origami. And then just park it right in there. Nice. And so that's the escargot organo. If you- Oh, the garlic butter get smells a little so more good. Parsley just on the up. This is like for a side dish. Very nice. Cauliflower risotto. I actually think I like this better than traditional risotto. You know, it's it's great. It certainly is fun. And, and really, it's a, just a play on the word risotto. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull the duck out. Tell you if I'm right, I'm going to let it ride. I'm going to pull the steak out. Wow. I'm going to let it ride. Oh, that's, that smells amazing. That's my show right there. Oh, my goodness. That's that's what I'm shooting for right there. That steak's got a perfect sear on it. Mm -hmm, we're gonna okay. take it, we're gonna let it 
let it rest right on that board just for a second. So it, it doesn't, really it doesn't so bleed good. to death, right? I've said that a million this times duck, today. You said that, you like that, huh? Yeah, I like all of this. You've yet to make something that I'm not into. Duck's gonna be perfect. Wow. Rested steak on the plate. Wow. The bursi butter. Oh, the compound butter, of course. Right, the nice compound butter. Oh, as if the steak needed anything else, and you're gonna put that butter right on we're top. Put that oh, butter on yeah. top. And it's gonna melt, and it's gonna look good. Oh, it's gonna melt. We're look gonna at do that. that. The duck is gonna there. We're gonna make this burgundy reduct cool. this pan sauce. Hit hard the Woo! the cabernet. Put a little salt, a little pepper. That reduces down hard. It's gonna reduce down nice. We're gonna take the uh, a little bit of this risotto. That really does brighten up a plate, doesn't it? It's really delicious too. <laughs> it, it does everything. Yeah, it, it, it does. tastes it tastes good and it looks good. The duck is. Rested. Oh, look at that. So we, we've that got. That is cooked perfectly. Well, we, uh. You've done I'm this. Saying, well, I've done, You've this, done this, before, this before, right? Yeah, it's not your first rodeo. My lucky. Bring that plate right there got for it. me. I got lucky again. So then we're just going to park that right up on that risotto. Gorgeous. I'm going to stretch it out just, just a little bit. Fan it out bit. a little. Oops. So everybody can see. Didn't mean to fan that much. Red interior. Okay. So we showed. And we were shooting for medium rare. Mm -hmm. And. This sauce here, little whole butter. So that really reduced down a it lot. It reduced down. The whole butter softens the, the flavor, the palate of it up a little bit. Mm. Right? It's making it nice and shiny making and creamy. Making it nice and shiny mm. and creamy. And then just off the fire, melt it down. Okay. Bring it onto your hot side of your pan. See it sizzle up on the edge. You're there. Nice. You take that rough chopped parsley. You taste it. You like it. A little salt. A little salt. A little more pepper. A little bitty, bitty, bit little more, more butter. butter. Mm. Let it lay. Right? Gorgeous. On the plate mm. now. That looks amazing. That is. I can't believe we just made all of this. Exact amount of uh, sauce. It looks was. good on the plate. Doesn't soup it out. We want to garnish that risotto if we want to. We can just for fun. Just because. This and is perfect. if we wanted to. Give a few more shades. Get with the lily. Just go for it. Yeah. Okay, I'm we're ready good. to taste. <laughs> there you go. Well, here we go. We're about to get to tasting, but before we do that, we have general manager Kelly O'Hanlon here to mix us a little cocktail. Yes. What are we making? We are going to make a HHG, uh, standing for a Harry's Hospitality Group, old mm -hmm. fashioned, with our own single barrel Knob Creek, nice. um, which is a nine year old single barrel aged bourbon that actually my bartender, Dave Champion, who is our bourbon aficionado, <laughs> went down uh, to Kentucky and um, hand selected this barrel for us, which is really cool. So it is just available in our three locations. So what we're doing is we're starting with a little amaranto cherry, which is an Italian cherry, a slice of orange. We use a little orange bitters. Okay. There's all kinds of cool bitters out there, but oh, we yeah. like the orange bitters. We give that a little muddle. We're muddling. Muddling. And you're actually a Kentucky girl yourself. I am too, a so Kentucky you know girl, bourbon. yes. I was uh, raised in Lexington, Kentucky, which is a beautiful part of the country. And then that, we're just gonna top it right with a little bit of our bourbon. Put a little bit of ice in there. And top it off with a splash of a club soda. soda. Give it a little stir. And oh. that is nice. our HHG Old Fashioned. Beautiful, so simple. Mm -hmm. Well, I hate to drink alone, but cheers, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's lovely, it's got a really nice bite to it, but it's not too strong. Yeah, it's a great drink to uh, hold up to this lovely, oh, lovely array of oh, all kinds of bistro food Nicole's, we have here. Nicole's passing. I'm gonna dig right in. Go ahead. Okay. I have a third, fourth. Oh my gosh. They're so tender. Yeah. By cooking them again, the recipe will tell you. Mm. Open the can, mm. wow. rinse them, then cook them again, and it softens up a little bit. I'm going to get into the duck, too. Those are fantastic. Mm. They're so oh, they're buttery, so good. too. <laughs> Got a little mm. garlic and a little butter, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of garlic, a lot of butter. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. The duck. It almost tastes like steak. It's so meaty. It is. It's a great mm -hmm. uh, duck. The duck like this is 
So. Did you cut me a little slice? Skin is nice and nice. crispy. Thank you. And the sauce is perfectly Gosh. seasoned. Fabulous. All right. I'm gonna get a little bit of the cauliflower, mm. and then mm. then we need to get into this steak. Mm. I'm just gonna cut right down the middle. Mm-hmm. Best see, way to do it. See how to mm -hmm. one. Now you see, I never do look that. Look at way. this. I always cut from the end, and I uh, see, look at I that. always cut That's right down perfect. the middle. Well, I, I wanted to see that half. Oh, <laughs> true, true. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Get a doggy okay. bag. Mm. You only cut one piece, Nicole. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of well, kind of hard-hearted there. It was a little selfish of me, but yeah. See, I'll take wow. care of my my wow. sister. Is that good? Now that's beautiful age, a minimum of 45-day age on this, and this, this meat. This me? Yeah, you want the one with fat? So. Yeah, that melts like that. in your mouth. I can't get over how tender Isn't it is. Good? It's perfectly cooked. It's wow. perfectly seasoned. The sear on the outside is incredible, chef. Jeff David Banks, this has been unbelievable. <laughs> it's such a pleasure to be here at Harry Savoy Grill. I'm sticking around for dinner. You do Is that. that. Cool? We're, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do it again. I can't wait. Thank you. Thank Cheers. you. Thanks, Cal. Thanks, Cheers. Cal. Be a groupie, not that kind. A Harry's Hospitality groupie, where there's food for every mood. Harry's Savoy Grill, the classic for the finest aged steaks, handmade pasta, and plenty of wines by the glass. Seafood lovers unite at Harry's Seafood Grill. Chucked oysters, ceviche, sushi, and lime caught salmon, all paired with an array of cocktails. And you can always fire up the grill at Kid Chalene's, towering char-grilled burgers with craft beers that keep flowing. Any mood, any food. Be a groupie.